I'm an addict for Snickers. I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good, what's good? Back up in the building, it's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here, Sneaker Addict Show. Got a stack of boxes right here. I just realized today is 11, 12, 13. When is that gonna happen again? Exactly. So why not show some original Jordans, some original 11s, 12s, and 13s? So let's get into this episode. Bang, we'll start it off with some 13s right here. These are the original He Got Game 13s right here. You've got your leather upper, really nice quality tumbled leather in white, and then in black by the toe. Then you've got your suede in black over here too with your fogged out, was a holographic logo right there. But now it's just fogged up. You could put a hair dryer to it, but when you put the hair dryer to it, you gotta be really careful. You can actually damage around the actual hologram. I've seen people damage their shoes by putting their hair dryer to it, and you do not wanna do that. It's just not a good look, so just leave it fogged up. If you unfog it, it's just gonna come back and it's gonna be foggy again. I've unfogged these like three times. It's really not worth it. You're just risking messing up this right here. So, just some advice. And this shoe was inspired by the panther. This is supposed to be like the claws of the panther. And then this is supposed to be like the eye. And then these are supposed to be the whiskers. Some say that's to do with golf. I disagree. Some people say that's to do with the golf holes. But I don't think this has to do with golf. But if it does, it's all good. I may be wrong. I may be right. It doesn't really matter. As I said, I really don't consider myself like a sneaker head where I have to know it all and this and that. I'm just a fan of sneakers. And, and that's really what it is. But I'm pretty sure this has to do with the panther and whatnot so here's some original 13s and let's see what we're gonna do next we'll do some original oh by the way let's show the box all the boxes here's the box it's the box that the original 13s come in here is a pair of as you can see here taxis which will be releasing really soon in December I don't know the exact release date but they will be releasing I'm pretty sure in December I think like the week before the 11s come out so these are just so incredible one of my favorite shoes that I own as far as originals the leather on this is so thick and heavy it's really something that feels like it came from 1996 1997 that era like it really really is a heavy leather right here the retros you will be getting next month will not have metal here these are metal they have never had the metal i think on the retros in the past but just pointing that out these will not and six shoe is the bottom and these are going to be a big release next month Good luck for everyone that wants them. I'm gonna wanna pick up another pair. And we'll finish it off with my babies right here. My babies. <laughs> OG Bread 11s. Sick. I'll show you the box. Basically the same as the other box. Now get into this shoe. These are the original Air Jordan Bread 11s. These came out in 1995. This is the original shoe. This is the original that came out in 1995. For some heads that may not comprehend it and are looking right now at the Jumpman, seeing it the other way, and little here's and there's. This is the original. The original is different. Carbon fibers different on the original. It is the original 1995 Bread Air Jordan right here, okay? Gotta say it because there's a lot of people nowadays with this sneaker thing and they just are so quick to talk shit. <laughs> it's like, you don't need to know everything about shoes. Like you don't have to point out everything because if you point something out and you're wrong, you look like a jackass. So keep it to yourself, especially with me and these J's because I've been doing this for a hot minute kind of know what I'm talking about. If I'm wrong, though, I'm wrong. I'm definitely not one to think I'm a know-it-all because I do not know it all. Trust me. As you can see, one thing that I'm sure some people notice besides what I pointed out, like over here, carbon fiber, 
is the patent leather is like a way thicker cut as you can see it's a way thicker cut on the patent leather it is yellowing a little on the midsole too I've noticed but all in all I love these it's got the Nike Air inside hopefully we can get that quick video I'm sure it's gonna end up being like a 8 to 10 minute video but something I just whipped up last minute I definitely hope you enjoyed this video right here hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing leave your comments make sure to catch up on all the episodes I will put a link also in the description box to all of my OG's my collection of OG's I will put a playlist in the description box I got a ton of OG's I got at least I think 10 or 15 OG's to my collection so you can just check them out I show a lot of them man detailed look so it's great if you're a fan of Jordan shoes so check that out a lot of history right there follow my Instagram team DJ Dells also make sure to check out my blog the sneaker for your sneaker news and with that said I'll be back really really DJ Dell. the sneaker you can find me my spins DJ Dells TV in flex we trust now it's a must I keep a fresh pair and they never scuff for dollars, euros, pesos She rocks the sixes and the six infrareds